In this video, I'm going to show you how we transformed our dingy, greasy, grimy block and pistons from this to this. Let's go. I chose to use a scraper blade to clean off the surface of my block for the heads and it did really well. I kept the handle pretty much parallel with the surface so it didn't dig in and scratch it just scraped the gasket material off i did do the same process on the head of the piston um, but i wasn't real happy with that it seemed to kind of want to dig in a little bit from time to time so i ended up switching to a plastic scraper blade um, but then i went to a scotch bright pad and i just set my vacuum up there to pick up the dust and i just started working that around and cleaning that surface off and getting all the carbon build up taken off. I then took a bottle brush and just started cleaning down inside all the coolant passages and working all that junk out. They had not done a real good job of maintaining this motor. In fact, when we tilted the motor, this is what fell out onto the pan. There was a lot of buildup inside there. We ended up doing two flushes when we got it done. So I followed that up with using my white Rolock. Now the white Rolock is their finest grit. It's 120 grit and I just kept working that around on the surface and keep moving i never stopped on it i just kept it constantly moving now quite frankly this here was my first piston and my first side that i worked with and so as i went along and did more pistons i kind of just developed my system and got better got faster and more efficient unfortunately it wasn't until towards the end that i really had it worked out well and it was saving time and i'm going to share that with you here shortly and that will do a good job in helping you save some time in the process you can learn from my mistakes so i just kept working this on through here and making sure that everything was cleaned off and getting the surface prepped and ready to go and i was really happy with the results on that now when i got done i took a longer board and i kind of wrapped my scotch bright pad back in that and i just worked it around here and more or less like a circular motion if you will just to give a little bit of bite back to the surface so when we put the head gaskets on and got the head installed that it would give something for that new gasket to be able to bite on to. I was really happy with my initial results. I thought it came out looking great. Quite a difference between that piston and the others. So we just kept working along through our block and just perfecting our system and improving the process as we went. Let me show you how I did it. So I'm finally down to my last two pistons here on this job, but I thought I better stop now and slow it down because you're probably gonna have questions as to how I'm doing it. So I thought I'd show you how I'm going through and cleaning off the pistons. Now, there's all sorts of different ways that you can do this. I'm just gonna show you the way that I've been doing it and I'll show you the results I've gotten and I'm really happy with it. Now, initially what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some microfiber towels and I'll just stuff those in the cylinders to the side of the one I'm working on. When I'm done with that, I want to make sure that the cylinder I'm working on or the piston is at top dead center. That way it's up at the top. It's easy for me to get to and clean it. Also, I don't want to work with it down inside the cylinder because I don't want to take a chance of scratching one of the walls or something like that. If it's up here, I don't have that issue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take like one of my blue shop towels that I get and I'm going to soak it in some sea foam and then I'm going to just rub that around on it, kind of dab it let that soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. While it's doing that, I'll go and do something else on the motor or find something else. I have tons of stuff here to do around the shop. Then I'll come back, I'll take my Lyle gasket scraper I have here with a plastic blade in it, and I'll begin just scraping on the head of that piston, and I'll do that the best I can to scrape off all that buildup that I can get off of there initially. Now, sometimes that goes pretty quick. Sometimes I'm going to do that for quite some time. When I'm done with that, I'm going to take my shot vac. I'm going to vacuum this area, get all that crud off of there that's built up that I've knocked loose. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scotch Bright pad like I have here, and at that point, you could either add some more seafoam to it, or the other thing I found that's working really good as well is I'll spray some brake cleaner on that Scotch Bright pad, and then I'm just going to start working that piston, and I do it in a circular motion in the case of this. 
and you just keep working it. Another thing, you know, it's kind of like the beginning of sometimes it goes quick, sometimes it takes a little bit of time and some elbow grease at that point, but I'll do that until I get it clean, then I'm gonna wipe it down. Now, when I'm done with that whole process and I've gotten the result that I like, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rotate the motor so like this head, for example, would be facing down. Then I'm gonna take some brake cleaner and I'm just gonna spray this whole area out. I'm gonna spray it inside the cylinders. I just wanna make sure I got anything that may have come out and flicked somewhere. I want it all washed out of there. Then I'll put it back up in its normal position like you see here. I'll take compressed air and I'm gonna spray that down inside everything again, just in case I wanna make sure everything's knocked out. And as a final step, I'll take a microfiber cloth and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to wipe out all of those cylinders and the tops of the pistons just as a final step. So I do three steps to make sure it's clean down inside of there. When I'm done with that, I'm going to take another shop towel. I'm just going to soak it with oil, the standard motor oil, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to just rub that on all my cylinder walls here to lubricate those because then the next step I want to do is I'm just going to rotate the motor on the crank so I get the next piston up for me to work on. Now in this case, we're going to be going here. And so that's kind of my process. That's how I work through it. Let me show you how it's done in detail and now I'll show you a before and after shot. Some of these go pretty easy and you know, it just so happens that this here is the last piston that I'm doing on this job. And oddly enough, it seems like it's just gonna go out kicking and screaming, but we're almost there as you can see.
So this one here was a lot more work, but I think it came out really good. I think this was actually the hardest one of all eight. Um, you know, it figures it's the last one. Like I said, it's going to go out kicking and screaming, but we got it all cleaned up. Now I can go through, get my decks all cleaned up get all my cylinders cleaned out we're going to do that it's really late here tonight so we're going to let this go for now tomorrow we'll get it outside we'll do the brake cleaner get everything cleaned up on it A quick wipe down and we're ready to stick a fork in this project. I'm really happy with the results from our efforts here. I think it looks great and I think it's going to do really well for us down the road. Now join us in the next video. We're going to be painting the block on this, the valve covers, intake manifold, timing chain cover. And after that we're going to be getting into the oil pump and the rear main seal. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.